Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet. My name is Mary and today we are going to be talking to the lovely Roz from Passion Flower. Oh, very excited about this. Yesterday yours truly visited Roz at her farm and we talked all about her farming life, her creative life and of course her everyday life that she lives there at the farm. I mean we had such a good time. Well I did. <laughs> I hope she did. Uh, I really enjoyed the interview and I really enjoyed visiting her farm. I didn't get an opportunity to play with the cows. That made me sad. <laughs> but they really didn't want to play. They were hiding under a tree. I took a little bit of footage and that was about it. The rest of the day consists of the lovely Roz and her farm. And of course, guys, I'm not going to talk anymore. We're just going to get stuck into the interview. Enjoy. Hello all and welcome to our crochet and as I mentioned previously I am visiting the lovely Roz from Passion Yay. Flower. I'm excited. I'm excited too. <laughs> We're excited to be here. We've been talking about you for a long time over on the channel yeah. and the subscribers saying when are you going, when are you going. I had to cancel the first time and I do apologise on that one. I'd like to know a lot about your farming life. So in your farming life, um, your farm in general, is that your farm or is it someone else's? Or yeah, or? it's our family farm. It's been in our family for about 100 years now with my grandparents and um, I used to come up here when I was a kid every Sunday and spend lots of time in school holidays. So it's sort of like like my spiritual home in a way, yeah. like it's just been part of my life forever. Yeah. And then three years ago I moved out to live here as well. Three years, huh? Mm -hmm. and you still have time to come up to the city yeah. and visit us crazy people down there. Occasionally. <laughs> I like to stay on the farm more though. Oh, I'm moving in after I've seen it. I've decided to move in. I think there's some room back there yeah, for me. Yeah, there's plenty of room. <laughs> All right, just quickly another one. What is farming life like? And um, it's sort of what does it entail, that kind of stuff? What, what do you do? What do I do? Um, lots of different things. The every day is completely different. Um, I like to just go for, oh, we have lots of bushland, so I like to go for a bushwalk quite a lot, see lots of good native animals. Yeah, yeah. Um, but in terms of work, lots of fencing, creating fences or fixing fences and checking to make sure that they're all working. So we have um, cattle here that's here all the time. We are spraying blackberries at the moment. So that's hard work out every early morning to get mm. them because they're weeds and they're everywhere. Yeah. Um, what else? We really have to feed all of our animals. We've got two goats, two pet cows, uh, a guard dog for the 50 chickens, which is my nephew's business. Cows, I've got cows. Um, <laughs> my nephew has an egg business, it, uh, Seb's Eggs, so he sells those to local people. Um, and um, yeah, so taking care of all of those animals every day, regardless of rain, sun, yeah. Yeah, whatever. It's a lot of work. So yeah. that stuff's the hard <laughs> stuff, but living out here in the bush is really beautiful. Yeah. And an important question, have you fed the cows yet? No. Woohoo! I mean, oh, okay, we can do that later, can we? <laughs> okay, and um, what are we up to? We're up to question number three, four. Oh my gosh, I'm all over the place. Uh, there is one question I do want to ask you. Very, very important question. Uh, how many cows do you have again? So it's two pet cows. Well, you don't need two. Oh, I don't think you... I don't think they fit in your car. What about on top? We could just like... Just strap <laughs> We were find them in the other seat right next to me. We've, yeah, we've got yeah. Okay, we, we haven't seen them yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check them out later. <laughs> 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 All right. If you had a choice, would you change your farming life to city life? No. That's the very short answer. No. I've lived in the city. I've lived in the inner suburbs and the outer suburbs. Mm -hmm. And for sure, this is the best place to live. Yeah, yeah. I've just been here for, how long have I been here for? Half an hour, an hour? It's just beautiful. Mm. I, I could move in. Like I said, I'm sure there's a spot back there. You won't even hear me. <laughs> well, you might hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Can't keep this voice quiet. I've tried. <laughs> um, how big is your farm? It's 127 acres. Hmm. So we have three big working paddocks and then we have some bushland as well. Okay, beautiful. Oh, I see there's plenty of space for me. Yeah, I'm you very small. Camping. Oh, I might be over there. Tent, beautiful tent. Although I do like my electricity and my water and oh, my yeah. food. Is there any food out there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, do you share your farm with uh, other farmers, other creators like us, 
or other hand owners or other people? At the moment we share with um, another farmer. Mm -hmm. We lease out our paddocks to a cattle farmer, so he uses our paddocks. So we don't have the responsibility of the cows themselves, just of looking oh. after the, the actual cows. paddocks. <laughs> More cows. <laughs> <laughs> We also have three horses here that are registered, so oh, there's some people who come up and, and yeah. ride and look after their horses on the weekends. What I would like to do is have this space become a bit more of a, a workshop community space and have people be able to come here and craft or hire it out, that kind of thing moving that's forward. That's nice to know. <laughs> but uh, that's still in the works. I have mm. to finish up the shed. It's not 100% finished yet. Um, and then look to do that hopefully by the end of this year, hopefully. Oh, when that happens, you've got to give me a call. Mm. We'll bring the cameras back. Yes. And have a look at your beautiful shed when it's all done up nice. <laughs> we built this part of the shed with like this workshop in mind and the view in mind and everything yeah. like that. So I'm pretty pretty set, I think. Yeah. It's just getting those the little details in Final that touch. needs to be yeah, done absolutely. so that I can have other people come. Sure. There's plenty of space. <laughs> okay. Plenty of space. Okay. Um, where are we up to? We're up to your crafting line. Oh. You okay. have to talk about your crafting Excellent. life. What is it that you craft exactly? Well, I'm, I'm mostly a knitter. I chew. There's but a, I do crochet. Oh, there's an allergy there. Can you see that? What? Yeah. I, got, I got the crochet cap. Yes. <laughs> I knew she was coming. I had to get <laughs> She got it out ready for me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I am mostly a knitter. Um, so I, I've got my scarf on. I, I designed this pattern. Oh, very nice. It's called the Ridge Scarf. The Ridge Scarf. Yep. Mm -hmm. So and it's with one ball of my uh, eight ply yarn. Do you sell the pattern? Or I do. You do sell the pattern on? On my website. Yep. We can um, organise that. Yeah. You can actually say that now if you want to say the website. Yep. yep. Yeah, we can link to it. It's um, passionflower.com. Beautiful. Otherwise, I'll pop a link in the description box down below. Don't stress, you'll always find um, everything about Ros in that link. So, yeah, so that's something that I've made in the last year. Very pretty, very pretty. Thank you. Um, what else do I have down here? Um, and this is oh, a font nice. show that Ooh. I made. Oh, how cool is that? I designed that one too. That one's a free one on Look my website. That. that is really cool. A free one on the website. Mm -hmm. Would you hear that, guys? Free. We love a freebie. Yes. Love how gorgeous is that? It's oh. called the cow neck poncho. Yeah, that's not going to fit me. <laughs> I'd like to say it would fit me. <laughs> but it fit the lovely Roz, so that's good. And what else have you got down there, Roz, that I can have a good look at? This is a pattern Ooh. by Amber O'Brien. Oh, I like this one. Um, so it's a, just a long sort of scarf. And I've used all of my Willy Wonka inspired colours in this oh, one. I could see that. <laughs> so, yeah, they're all of the bright colours in between. How gorgeous is this? You could wear it as a shawl or as a scarf. Yeah. Um, I would pattern. actually, because I'm very old fashioned, I like to wear this as like a hip. Oh, yeah. You know, a hip thing. That would work. I'm not old fashioned, yeah. it's just, I've got a weird fashion. Yeah, oh, it's a fashion. Life. And I like to wear these as little hip things. Oh, I love it. It's very pretty. pretty the right colours, too. Mm. Just the right colours. And are these your colours? Yes, they are. Yeah, which all we're going to talk about that in a minute yeah. anyway. But how pretty is that? Yeah. Gorgeous. We'll pick that up again later when we talk about your colours, oh. I think. But that's very pretty. Anything else you've got down there that I'd love to uh, look for? Well, the people who watch my YouTube channel will know that I am always knitting socks. So yes. that's what I've got on the needles at the moment. Yes. So where do you do most of your craft? Well, I sit on this couch just here most of the time. This is my couch now. Yeah. This is where I'm moving. Yeah. I'm moving back there and I'm sitting right here. Because the view <laughs> out there beautiful. is beautiful. So we'll have a look at that later with the camera. We'll get yeah. the camera up later. Have a quick look around the view. You're going to love it. It's just perfect. Yeah. And the sun comes in through the window in the afternoon. Oh, so cool. it's really lovely. Yeah. Um, but then I'd also do a lot like by the TV in the house as well. Oh, yeah. I do it by the TV all the time. Yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. Is there anything else you'd like to show us? Well, how about we do a little tour around my workshop space and... Um, yeah, I'm <laughs> very excited about and, that. Yeah, and maybe even, I um, I have a couple of blank skeins of yarn yeah. soaking. Maybe we could have a little try. Maybe you could do a little bit of dyeing as well. Ah! <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was hoping for that. Yeah. All right, Yay, let's, let's go, do it. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> well, first, how about we take a look at the view outside. I've got my garden and veggie patch out the front and then out towards our paddocks and our bushland across the creek. Those are not 
cows to be taken home, Mary. Oh, but there's plenty of room in my car. I've emptied it. <laughs> How gorgeous is this? What? You know that you know that tent we were talking about before? Yep. It would go really nice right in between the cows that you have right there. Perfect. <laughs> How beautiful is it? Can I keep going around there? This is beautiful. I'm hoping this is coming out clearly. It doesn't look, it's very overcast at the moment, guys. I do apologize for that, but I can't do anything about that. I did ask the sky to clear up, but it wouldn't, so. Yeah, I couldn't control the weather today. <laughs> All right. I'll just head over this way, can we, Ross? What's happening yeah. over here? So this is a little table I've got set up where I sometimes do some work, some more sort of crafty kind of stuff, mm -hmm. um, weaving in ends and things like that, which is mm -hmm. not so fun. Got and some... where I also take my product photography as well. You've got some yarn there, which is I good. Do. It's very. Is that an eight ply? That's an eight ply and that's an eight ply. Beautiful. Eight ply overseas, by the way, guys, is a number three if you're interested. Okay. Or a DK in the UK. And then this is where I do all of my yarn dyeing. Mm -hmm. So these are my cookers at the top with the cloths over them. I just like to keep all the dust and everything off them. Of course, yeah. And then below are my pots. And then below that is my undyed yarn. Ooh, ooh that's nice. So, Roz, with your undyed yarn, who are the companies that you use? So I use Black Waddle Farms mm -hmm. here in New South Wales. Mm -hmm. I use Nundal Woolen Mills and skeins in New Zealand. Beautiful. Okay, and uh, these tiles, are they tiles? Yeah, they're tiles. I swear I put my hot pots just to make sure that I remember that they're hot and beautiful. keep yeah. them all nice and clean. Very good idea. There's more, uh, is that scales or is that just? No, that's another, this is a cooker. Oh, it's another cooker? Yeah. Beautiful. And then they're my dye solution. So I mix up from a powder, I mix up um, dye into a liquid mm -hmm. and then from the liquid I then make the, the colours. I mix colours together. Yep. Safety first, have to wear gloves. Of course. And then there's a couple of skeins in there Mary that I Ooh. thought you might like to try <gasps> dyeing oh, up. Oh I'm so excited, I want to play, want to play, want to play. It's my toys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my toys, nobody else. Oh. <laughs> All right. Now it's just explain, you've got, I've noticed you've got sun silk there, what's that for? I use that to wash my yarn, so I oh. think it gets it keeps it nice and soft, mm -hmm. and it doesn't strip the colour out like some uh, wool washers do. So for those of you overseas, that is a shampoo, isn't it? It's a shampoo. It's yeah. a shampoo. That's cute. <laughs> and you've got this is your just hand soap. That's for me, hand, yeah, hand washing myself. Yep. 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 And we might have a cup of tea. Oh, and oh, 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 oh my diet has just been ruined. <laughs> Okay, and what's over here, Roz? So this is my office area in the workshop as well. So yep. I have my printer and my computer yep. and do all of the boring admin part. Oh, as you do. Yeah. Oh, what's over here? Oh, my old Magic and Titan singlets. I'm a little bit of basketball tragic back in the day. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. We've got to have some sort of yeah. tragic in us. <laughs> so this, because this <laughs> is my office tragic. space, it's different from my crafting space. Of course. Okay. Oh, look what I see. Ooh. Explain yeah. all this to me, Rose. So my uh, my swift for yeah. winding and my skein winder and yep. my ball winder. So this so is where that's just swift. That's the swift, the blue yeah. one. Yep. And the wooden frame is is a skein winder. Okay. And the little one down here is a ball winder. Of course, I've got one of these at home too. Yeah. yeah. So this is my setup for either creating mini skeins mm -hmm. or for winding my own skein. Sometimes I buy my undyed yarn in um, on a big comb. Yep. And so then I will use this to break it down into smaller batches. Batches. And this is where you keep, obviously, your some of your hand... All of the colours, my Some of your hand-dyed creations that you've made. Yes. Which we're going to have a bit of a play with, my toys. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, so I think we might start dyeing now. Um, we've got some yarn soaking over in the sink. Let's have a quick look at the yarn. And which brand is this one? So this is my Trellis DK. Mm -hmm. So it's an eight ply. And it, what we do is we soak it first to get it wet. That way it takes the dye a lot easier. Is there a time limit to soaking? Just so that it's wet all the way through. Okay, beautiful. So it depends on the yarn. And then we have our gloves. Yes. Safety first. And, and our dyes. And our dyes. And what we'll do is we'll pop it in a pot 
on the cooker over here and we'll heat up the water and then Mary's gonna mix some colours and we yay. will create a special creation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm, what colours shall we use? Hmm, let's think about it. I won't do the reds. So what are we doing now, Ros? So we're gonna heat up this water and when it is slightly warm but not boiling, we are gonna put our yarn in and start to add some colour. Oh, goody, goody. How long does it usually take? Not very long. Oh, good. Mm. Mm. Okay, so you think you want to do some green? Yeah, I think greens of some sort. Maybe something bright to add to it to give it a bit of a kick. Yeah, all right. You know? Let's start with that. So, what I'll do is I have some emerald dye here. We will. Let's just try... Oh, that is strong, isn't it? Yeah, let's just try that little bit. I think that'll be enough to start with. So... I'm loving it already. We will oh, oh. tip that into our... Oops, it's spilling everywhere. Into our pot. We've already got our vinegar in here. Beautiful. And let's pop our yarn in. We're going to leave it like this and this will make some white spots and then we can come back and put some different colour on those later. Oh, that's cool. I like that idea. Ooh. I hope I don't drop the camera in the water. <laughs> it's waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> then we need to leave... <laughs> so then we need to leave this to sit for a little while so yep. that the colour soaks into the yarn. So what are we looking? 10, 20, 15 yeah, minutes? About 20 minutes probably. 20 minutes? Yep. Okay, taking a look in the pot now, Mary. Ooh, what's We're happening? almost ready to take this yarn out. Oh, where's the colour? It's all now in oh, how the cool yarn. Is that? So how cool is... there's a little bit left, but I think that'll be good for what we're gonna do by adding some colour to those white bits now. So Ooh, we're gonna add more colour to yeah, it. So we put them <laughs> we'll take them out. Yep. And we put them in here just to drain or we're gonna squeeze them. No, we'll just leave them sit there. Yep. And then we can actually unwind these and you can just see how bright that green is. Oh isn't it just? And this is a perfect lighting right here Roz. <laughs> it's been so dark there. This is a perfect, oh my gosh so you look can at that. see our bright green but we've got lots of white wow. that we can now play with. Yes which is what we want to do now. So let's we'll pop these back in. Oh just as is, yep. Yep. Oops, splashing you. Oh we've got aprons it's all right. Give me a bit of colour, huh? <laughs> Alright, so now there are our two in there, but we can still see lots of white spots as well. So we might be. So will more green go on those white spots now? Uh, a little bit. There was a tiny little bit of green in the water, so we might get a little tinge, but not too much. Yep. Just because there's lots of white left. Yep. What we might do is choose some other colours. Ooh, yes, please. Yes. Yes. And yes. we will oh. add them in and we'll have a little bit of a play with mixing some colours together. Yay. Okay. So what colour shall we choose next? What do you have that's yummy? Could go a yellow. Oh, that's nice. Or a turquoise. Could we put both yellow and turquoise? We could. Yeah. Let's try both of those. I okay. Think. Let's do that. Yeah. yeah. Woohoo. All right. So let's. What we might do is we put yellow on one side and yep. we could put turquoise on the other. Oh, and do you have you can't mix it then, you just let it sit there. We'll just let it sit there, yeah. Oh that is so cool. So let's go. We'll just, we'll just pour it on and just let it soak oh, very nice. down in. Very nice. Oh my gosh, this is gonna look gorgeous. <gasps> and I then contain myself. I think I'm gonna start shaking in a minute and the camera will go weird. <laughs> so I'll keep nice and steady. Sorry guys, you know me, I get excited. And then we'll put the turquoise through on this side. I'm sorry, the lighting's bad there. That's here right. we go, we'll come this way. Here we go, we'll go over it. Have a quick look. Oh, that's gonna be gorgeous. See how excited I get, Ross? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> She's shaking. I am shaking. I'm gonna... 
Okay. Oh, hang on. We're going to. So now we're just going to let. Down. We're just going to make sure that all of the yarn is under the water, Beautiful. and we're just going to leave that sit and let those colours soak in. And I think yep. that could be your creation. What do you think? We'll have yes. A look in a little yes. Bit. I don't want to change anything. I don't want to add anything. I just want to leave it as it is. These colours are gorgeous. I reckon. Yay! Very exciting. So what happens now, Ross? So now we let all the colour soak in. Yep. And then I leave them sit for about a day in the water so that all of the colour gets exhausted out. Oh, so I might not be able to see this, will I? Just send you pictures. And maybe I can mail it to you. <gasps> oh, I see how excited I'm even shaking more now. <laughs> <laughs> and then after it sat for that long, I rinse it, I wash it with my shampoo. Yep. And then I'll leave it to dry. Beautiful. Now, do you use a conditioner as well or just shampoo? I switch between conditioner and shampoo. It depends what I've got on stock. Either works really well. So, Okay, beautiful. Thanks, Ross. So now we're ready for a well-earned rest. Yes. And I'm going to break my diet. Don't tell my subscribers. <laughs> we're going to dig into some cakes and a nice cup of tea, a nice cup of tea. And let's have a look. What have we got? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, this looks oh. delicious. I know, we, we, I've been hanging out for these. I knew they'd been sitting there. So I've been hanging out for these. I'll tell you which one I like. I like this one here. Can I pinch that? You may. Woohoo. What do you like? What's your favorite? I think I might go for the lemon. Mm. I thought I'd get a variety to see because everybody's different. Mm. Yeah, I should have got healthy carrots and things. But whatever. Yeah. Yummy. Hey, enjoy. Mmm. Mm. I just thought while we're sitting here, we could actually have a chat about some questions that some people have been asking me. Mm. And actually, there's one of our subscribers, her name is Kiki. And Kiki's one of our cheeky regulars. We call her Cheeky Kiki. Oh, hi, Kiki. Cheeky Kiki. <laughs> That's what we call Kiki. her. I'm a, I said Kiki Cheeky also. Uh, we say Cheeky Kiki <laughs> um, because she can get a little cheeky. And we've got a little naughty corner at my house. So in the middle of a live when they're naughty, they, they go on the naughty corner. <laughs> Cheeky's cheeky. Yeah, there you go. Cheeky Kiki. Kiki spends a lot of time in that corner. <laughs> So, Kiki wanted to know a couple of things from you, Ross, mm. and one of them was, what made you get into hand dyeing, and was it your own crafty passion, or was it passed down by family? Um, it was it was my own crafty passion, actually. Um, I loved knitting and... A chew. <laughs> Still allergic to it. me off. <laughs> and I, I like to buy hand dyed yarn, I thought yeah. it was really beautiful. Yeah. And my sister actually gave me a little kit for a Christmas present oh, of just a couple, yes, <laughs> couple of dyes and a couple of blank yarns mm -hmm. and said, you should try this because you're, you're spending so much of your time and money on going to shows and buying yep. hand dyed yarn that you, you give it a try. And Do your own. Yeah, but yeah. she thought that I'd be really good at it and interested in it. Yeah. So I did and it became an addiction. Loved it. As you do. <laughs> Just a bit, them, how you can make colour, like, you yeah. know, add things together. I only have like 14 different colours of dyes mm. and I mix them to make my own colours. So I've, I've made it quite a creative thing. Yes. Yeah. And so I started doing that and then I thought, well, I'm making all this yarn that I can't possibly ever use all of it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I set up a little shop and it's just been going for five years now. So, for five years? Yeah. Oh, wow. See, we get to benefit all this <laughs> because we're going to be looking at some yarn while we are here. See if she doesn't notice. I could just run into the car with her. <laughs> the other question Kiki had was Do you use natural products or do you use something else to help with your hand dye? So I use a commercial product, it's a powdered dye that you use a vinegar to set it with. Um, I am interested in natural dyeing, but from a commercial perspective in terms of selling yarn, uh, to have a consistent product time after time and also so that it stays much more colour fast, yes. I choose the, well, you the don't synthetic want the, you, you product. You don't want the dye to run. I mean, no. you go and put it in the washing machine or in your wash. I never wash in the washing machine, by the way. You know that. <laughs> and I do. I put my own coloured yarn in the washing machine I'm, and it comes up just fine. And I was so. always worried about the, the dye coming out. Yeah. So it doesn't when you're using the vinegar and so on. So no. Really so nice. I'm really careful with yeah. what I do. Yeah. So the one that we just dyed now is going to sit for quite a while. Mm -hmm. It'll be washed thoroughly so there's absolutely no colour coming out and because I've used the vinegar and I've heated it up along the process, yep. uh, we shouldn't have any colour coming out and you should be able to put it in the wash and it should stay fast for terrific, quite a while. Terrific. Now here's a little honest, 
I did not know you could use vinegar in yarn. Mm. I was so worried. Someone said that you can actually use vinegar to make the yarn softer. And I haven't tried that yet when you're soaking. When you're making your product uh, and you're washing and blocking, if you use vinegar, it makes it softer. I haven't tried that yet. But now listening to you and using vinegar to colour dye, I was worried that using vinegar would take the dye out. No, that's the so, opposite. hello, yeah. you learn something new, yeah. Mary. <laughs> so you can try that so, for making it soft as well. Yeah. I don't know if the vinegar and the shampoo together is the, the combination that I feel makes know. it soft. Yeah. But We'll play yeah. with that in the future, yeah. by the way, guys. We did some um, washing and blocking last year and I used uh, conditioner in one. We did it like two. Conditioner was one and a normal... Uh, baby fabric softener was the other, right? I used them both and they both felt the same. Same yarn, so yep. they both felt exactly the same. I want to try the thing again. Now that I know it doesn't Don't take the dye out, yep. how about that? Yep. So I've learned something new today. Good. While we're sitting here guzzling down mm. our sweets, what we might do, I might pop a, a little thing right up the top, guys. You'll see that coming up right now, okay? And that will just give you all the information as to where you can find the lovely Roz. Yep. And we can find her on YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, our website. Yep. I uh, can't remember. The I'm other. on Instagram. Instagram. That's probably the best place. Uh, yep. And that, those three only? Yep. Or is there something else? That's it. That's it. Well, I'll pop all of those three things up there right now. But they'll also be, um, the links themselves will be in the description box down below. Just click on that little, it's kind of like a little arrow thing that goes down there. Click on that arrow and the first three links you see will be Roses contact information so anything you need click on those links head over to her um, stores wherever they may be on those three links and you can ask any question you like if you need to purchase any of her beautiful yarn which yours truly may just do today don't tell her that because we want to deal <laughs> let's eat <laughs> cheers <laughs> a little bit of fun on our part. Roz, she's a wonderful sport. I give her credit. She did well. That little skit that you saw there, it was a last minute thing. Roz didn't even know she was going to be a part of it. <laughs> what a good sport she is. And guess what? I may have pinched the odd yarn. And a little bit more. And a little bit more. <laughs> And of course, a little bit more, 400 grams of gorgeous yarn. Now let's check this out. This label, let me talk to you about this label here. <laughs> so funny. She was hilarious, Roz. You know, I give her credit. She was a good sport. Now this yarn is called Harvest DK. I'll turn it around and show you in a minute. It's 100% superwash wool, uh, DK8 ply. So it's a number three overseas. Um, and it's approximately 100 grams, which is... 217 meters and 237 yards or slash 337 yards and the color is called flowering gum and i do hope you can read that <laughs> let's see if it doesn't go blurry for you so there you go now um she she really did um put in a lot of effort for us uh yesterday on the farm 
and there was one thing she did for us and that she dyed some yarn for us there on the farm we did it together we had a lot of fun well i had a lot of fun and i did accidentally pop a donut in the face but nobody saw it so it was okay and there you go guys if you would like to contact the lovely Roz, i will leave three links in the description box down below the very first three you come to and they will be links to any one of her areas where you can contact her and last but not least i would like to say a very very big thank you to Roz for allowing me to visit her farm there at passion flower thank you so much for joining us guys don't forget to like subscribe and share and do all those wonderful things that you already do for me and all i want to say right now is oh i got plenty of yarn from Roz. Ciao for now.